Hello there. My name is Themed Injection, and I am obsessed with setting spray. <laughs> Hello guys! It has been a while, huh? Yeah, I've been away due to personal reasons that I would actually make a dedicated video soon because you guys been nothing but good to me. You still subscribe to my channel, you still watch my videos, you still freaking comment on my videos. So thank you so much and I think you deserve an explanation from me to why I've been away. But let's keep all of this aside how have you been doing um i hope life been doing you amazingly like it did to me the past few months and i hope you are doing amazing because i am and you should be too as well so let's get this tutorial started so i've used a primer all over my face just to prep my skin for the makeup that is gonna take and I have used a concealer on my eyelids to prepare it for the eyebrows and the eyeshadow. Now I'm just roughly sketching the eyebrows. It doesn't really need to be perfect at this moment. Um, you just need to draw on the basic shape. Now I'm using the CAD 1D Shade and Light eyeshadow palette it's really amazing it has a lot of colors that are cool for shading and contouring and uh, adding depth and everything so I'm using it and I'm using a medium brown eyeshadow just to fill in the eyebrows and giving it a shape now I'm using a concealer to clean up the eyebrows and also adding like a cut because because Johnny Depp has a cut in that movie or maybe his eyebrows are like that I was just trying my best to achieve his eyebrows so you want to create a cut through the eyebrows you've drawn <laughs> and afterwards you want to take a black eyeliner and create little hair so it looks more realistic and just take your time have fun with it don't stress out because I remember when I did this look I was so stressed out I I was like, bitch, I don't look like him, and God, it's just makeup. Trust me, it's just makeup. It's just have fun with it. And for the eyeshadow, I'm using the Huda Beauty uh, eyeshadow palette, and it doesn't really have to be this. Um, I should have it. I was just using it to get to try and get promoted on her Instagram um, account, and it did not happen. But that's fine. It's not like I, I worked hard or anything. <laughs> no, it really doesn't really matter. Um, you can just use any um, brown all over the crease, and then on the lids, just use a light beigey eyeshadow. I'm defining the crease with a black eyeliner, and then take a black mixed with a brown eyeshadow and smooth that line and done with the eyes now um not technically we're, we're not really done with the eyes but i'm moving on to the face i'm using a dark color because jack sparrow actually tanned he's not really light in the movie he's very tanned and he's very sun kissed so i'm using a dark shade and i know i look like an umbalumba don't freaking judge not yet. And then take a light foundation. If that's your skin color, then you don't need to take a light foundation. Just do it with your own foundation. Um, for me, I, I, I'm, I'm taking a light foundation just for the highlighted areas so it doesn't look very umbel umbelish. Blend all of that foundation in and then we contour. So if you want to contour like Jack Sparrow, 
You want a chiseled face. I mean, Johnny Depp has a really sunken in cheeks and he have a really high cheekbone and very square chiseled face. So you want to aim for that. And for the nose contour, trust me, try not to make it perfect because if you want to look like him, then don't make it perfect. But if you just want to look like yourself, girl, just do it. But anyways, for the nose contour, I already have a crooked nose. It's really fitting for J Johnny Depp's nose because actually his nose is a little bit crooked. So I'm contouring my nose based on his nose. And then blend all of that contouring out. And after it's all blended and very nicely, take a light concealer for the highlighted areas. You know, this is too much, but I'm trying to look hunky, so yeah, whatever. Anyways, highlight the center of your face, underneath the eyes, um, cheekbones, uh, nose, forehead, chin, jawline, whatever. And then blend it really well. That's the key here. And set it with a powder. I'm using the RCMA powder. It's really good and it's really cheap. So you don't need this fancy powder and whatever. This works really well. I'm um, first setting my face, the whole creams and foundation. And then I'm baking. I'm baking under my eyes. On my nose. On my jawbone, uh, my jawline. What is jawbone? Jawline. Well, actually, jawbone. Whatever. My jawline. Um, my forehead. And you wanna let it bake. And boom, bitch. I'm sorry. This part. I know. I'm sorry. This part. The eyes are done, and the powder is all brushed out. <laughs> I did not even film this process, but it's really easy. Um, just take a black eyeliner and smoke it all over your eyes and dust away the excess baking and then um, draw a nostril with a black eyeliner just to give the illusion of his nose and then I'm defining the nose furthermore with contouring the same areas that I contoured with a cream now I'm contouring with a uh, powder and then I'm taking a lighter shade of powder. I'm, I'm doing it on my nose and on my nostrils. Now I'm using a bronzer since he's very tanned and very sun kissed. I'm going on my cheeks, my forehead, and a little bit on my chin and nose just to give me that sun kissed look. Then I'm using a cool toned um, powder to contour what I contoured before, so I bring it to life again. I'm just really going along what I did earlier, so it's not that tricky. It's just really about building up the colors and consistency of the colors, uh, opacity of the colors. So just take your time, have fun with the makeup. Yep. And then I'm adding a little bit of a blush because if you are sun kissed, you're gonna get burned. When you get burned, you get a little bit pink or red. So that's my theory behind that. Now set your face with a setting spray. And then I am 
taking highlights because it's amazing and everybody loves a highlight a beaming highlight is never bad it's never not for cosplay and i don't care about anyone who says highlight is not for cosplay bitch i don't care i love it so i'm using it on my cheeks yeah i did not record the scar part but hey, it's just a black with a brown with a red eyeshadow creating an excess car and you got it! Easy as pie. <laughs> then, I'm using a Kat Von D. I think this is Lolita by Kat Von D, a liquid lipstick. Um, it's a natural nude color to do his lip shape. And we move on to the mustache, the most exciting part of this whole makeup. Uh, this this part actually what makes the whole transformation comes to life now for the mustache what you're gonna do is take the pieces adjust them glue them down add more add less it depends on you and your face shape Also goes for the uh, beard area. Adjust, cut, glue down, fix the here and there. And voila, you have been transformed into Jack Sparrow. Congratulations. <laughs> Anyways, hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed this transformation. Hope it was helpful in some way. And until next time, stay safe. Mwah. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Mwah. Let me tell you something. I did not research how Jack Sparrow would actually talk look. Talk <laughs> you know, I haven't researched how to <laughs> As you see in my face <laughs> I was planning on doing Jack Sparrow But it turned out to be <laughs> Jack Arrow <laughs> I'm Team Dejection. I'm Team Dejection who? The person who is obsessed about setting spray. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arabia. I'm wasting it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>